Good morning, my friends. I will talk a little about today of accuracy, and precision, and how you can do a reference test in Mastertronic. Accuracy is the ability for a machine to do the correct measurement, to measure the parameter to the correct value. Precision is the ability for the machine to give same values if you repeat the measurement on the same water after each other. The closer those values are, the higher precision. And again, accuracy is the ability to give you the right value. A good measurement instrument has of course both high accuracy and high precision. For manual test methods, you never have both high accuracy and high precision. It's impossible because you have the human uh, factor, you do things with your hands, you can do it wrong, so the precision is quite low. The accuracy could be high in manual tests, as long as you do everything correct. In a machine, like Mastertronic, the accuracy and precision is high, because the precision is always high, because the machine do exactly the same time, same thing every time, and the accuracy is also high because you have a photometric eye with a resolution that is superior to your eyes, so, you can, so the machine can always interpret the color with much more precision than you can do. So that's the reason that uh, Mastertronic has a very high both accuracy and precision. From time to time, even if you have this high accuracy and precision, you maybe want to do a reference test in Mastertronic because you have the question, does my Mastertronic measure correct today? You can't answer that question by just do a measurement against the manual test of the reason I just told you. The manual test has lower accuracy and the manual test has lower precision. And also, it's never correct to uh, compare method one with method two, because if they differ, you don't know which of them is correct. So there's only one way to answer the question. You must do a test against a reference fluid with a known concentration. So that's how you can do from time to time if you are in doubt and want to know if everything is fine. Then you need a few things. First of course you need a reference fluid and here's one from ATI. It contains calcium and magnesium uh, with a known concentration. When you have opened it several times it can be changing so be very careful about that and don't use old bottles. But when you use a new bottle it's very very reliable and you can trust the numbers here. So it's a reference fluid. If you want to do a test on uh, the nitrate or phosphate, then you have, have to have a reference fluid here, for instance. Phosphate is 0 0.1 ppm. I have done this myself based on uh, lab reference fluids that I have ordered from a lab company. Here, for instance, I have a nitrate reference fluid from HAC, the company HAC, with a known concentration. Then you have to have a pipette. Here's one that, can, uh, that I can take from 0 0.5 025 milliliter and I can adjust it with the resolution 0 0.1 with one decimal and that is what you need when you shall do the reference test in Mastertronic and I will show you in uh, on my Mastertronic how you can do it. okay here we are now are at the Mastertronic and in this example I will do a reference test with uh, a reference fluid that contains nitrate and now it's an important thing when you come to nitrate. Nitrate is some different if it's in fresh water or in marine water. And Mastertronic is adapted to that. So when you choose the script, you shall use, you have to be careful so you choose the correct one. In this example, I have a reference fluid of 5.96 milligram per liter. I have done this myself, therefore the odd numbers. And it's based on marine water. I have um, perfect marine water from ATI with no nutrients at all and I add a standard solution to that and calculate myself. So if you have a reference fluid that is based on marine water, it's very important that you in the app choose the script that is called marine with a M within the brackets. If you have a reference fluid that is based on fresh water for nitrate, then you choose the script that has a F in, within the brackets and it's for fresh water. Now, before you start the script in from, from the app, do this. Remove the inlet hose, the sample water hose. Remove that. Now you start in app the measure script. 
Here we go. And here is the marine script started. We have the API nitrate the regen script, and the M here is because it's marine mode. It's a normal mode, of course, when you measure on the marine tank, but I choose it also here because I have marine based reference fluid. Now you hear that the stepper is starting, that's the first action. At the same, t same time, immediately when that happens, pour 10 milliliter of reference fluid into the chamber. Be careful so you don't spill to the sensor, etc. 10 milliliter. Can hear the empty motor starts you can see that the reference fluids will be drained here and soon you will see air bubbles that it's completely drained now soon you will hear the step start again then do another 10 milliliter in the reaction chamber also, this will be drained soon. 10 mil. These volumes are not extremely crucial, it's just to rinse. You have to rinse it twice because you want accurate results, that's the point. Now it will empty again. You can see the empty milk restarting and emptying here, and you will soon see air bubbles again. Just wait for that and do nothing. Now the air bubbles are coming, and then you know it's drained. Now the stepper will start for the third time. Now do nothing. Just observe, do nothing, do not fill up again. You will hear some rattling because the reaction chamber is empty. That's normal now, do nothing. The empty motor starts, it will of course be just be air because you didn't pour up anything this time. Just wait and do nothing. Now you will hear that the A motor is starting and filling this rinsing chamber. Still do nothing and just observe. Now you will see that the needle is going to the rinsing chamber. Now it's time for you to pour down the sample volume in the reaction chamber. Look at the PDF, which volume you shall use, depend on the parameter and the reagent. Pour that down in the reaction chamber. This is the sample volume to be measured of. Now you are ready and you don't have to do anything more. Just observe now. Now uh, the cursor is starting and the needle will go to the reagent. At this moment, you can close the door and let it be closed now and put the back the sample hose. You're ready and the machine will do the tests for you. And um, we will soon compare to the reference fluids, which is 5.96 in this case. And we will see how close it is. 